July of 2011, I thought I had an upper respiratory infection, was having difficulty breathing. Uh, all of my blood counts were really low, so they wanted to admit me for emergency transfusions. It was, it was pretty scary. We didn't know what was going on and they wanted to do a bone marrow biopsy so they went ahead and did that and they thought it was going to be uh, leukemia but it came back as uh, aplastic anemia. So the next step they thought was going to be uh, a bone marrow transplant. I went through the transplant uh, process in the bone marrow transplant unit and uh, was just really impressed with Everyone from transportation to the nursing staff to uh, admitting, everyone just had uh, such a great attitude and it felt like family coming here. And uh, that was something that I wanted to be a part of. When I was uh, first starting to come in for my treatments, I was thinking about going to get my MBA. And uh, so after the treatments and I was doing better, I decided, you know, I'm going to go for this as something I want to do. And I really want to get involved in healthcare and some kind of healthcare management. So I, I was like, well, maybe I can work at UMC. My uh, first class in the MBA program was actually my now boss's uh, last class and so it was great that we kind of connected in there and I was telling him about my experience and he asked me, well, have you ever thought about working for a hospital? And I was like, well, I, actually, yeah. So um, he told me about the position and about environmental services and it was uh, environmental services who kept me safe and their cleaning of the room is what really helps keep me safe during my stays there. And uh, I remember a housekeeper specifically who would come in every day and keep my spirits up through the transplant process. And when I was going home, she gave me pointers on how I could keep myself safe. The real job of EVS is to keep the patient safe, and they have such an impact on patient safety. Uh, people may think that it's EVS is about emptying the trash and taking out the linen, but it's so much more. It's, it's about keeping the patient safe and, and making sure that uh, they have a clean and safe environment. I'm really proud to be a part of the EVS team because uh, they were the ones who saw me through the difficult times and helped to keep me safe and took care of me. And uh, now I'm a part of their team and able to see us all working towards that goal of keeping our patients safe and serving our patients in, in the best way possible.